starting point is those who are seeking to amend the constitution to remove the provision on the 75 year age limit. Because one, there's no cause to do it. And secondly, they want to do it in a way that that is, is not honest. Because if it is the will of government and it is the wish, government would bring a formal bill to parliament and the opposition would have no right or anything to stop it from appearing. But they push it through a private member. Yet earlier on a private member attempted to bring a constitutional amendment which was stopped. And so when, when processes are fraught with contradiction, that process is not honest, that process incites anger, and that process cannot be fought in a regular way. It has to be dealt with the way it is. And the opposition therefore realized that the only way to, to deal with it is to get the message out there to the people that there's a problem happening in parliament. And the best way to do it was to say, we'll try and stop it physically. We know that we don't have the numbers, even the physical strength to stop it. But at least the whole country now knows that there are a group of people who want to remove the age limit so that President Museveni can become a life president. Therefore, in accordance with Rule 8702, I name and suspend the following members of parliament from the service of this house for the next three sittings. The effect of suspension is that immediately withdraw from the chambers. The suspension means that you not attend committees. You actually not enter the places of this parliament and remain away for the next three sittings. So, So, I know the following members. Honorable Kibure, Mkoro Kampinos. Three sittings is nothing in our parliament. We have set for coming to two years. What have we done as a parliament? How many laws have we passed? What substantive thing have we done? So three sittings is not a problem. Secondly, by the provisions on how to amend the constitution. They cannot rush the process. So the bill has to first be tabled, the bill has to go to a committee, and then the bill has to come back to parliament for second reading. Even for third reading, it has to be two weeks after the second reading. And so they cannot rush the process, and, and therefore we'll participate. Whether we participate by being part of the dialogue in parliament, or we participate by making sure that the country understands the ill motive of this uh, proposed amendment. Well, there are only two things. Either sanity prevails and we get enough people from within the NRM. We have seen people like Professor Apolis Sibambi, former Prime Minister, standing up to say, no, this is not required. I have even seen Professor Bukenya being cited. I have, uh, the religious leaders must know that the future of this country is at stake. And it's not just enough to say, maybe we hold a referendum. They should come and tell President Museveni and his group that this is wrong. You cannot have one person leading a country for 40 years. It has not worked anywhere. And worse, when the poverty situation in the country where the anger situation in the country, where disparity between regions, disparity between those who are in, in urban areas and rural areas is growing every day. And therefore, unemployment and where there is discontent. Because the young people there, you cannot tie them on leashes. When they think enough is enough, they'll cause chaos to this country.